and welcome back. And it's time for us to make some breakfast. That's right. Mm -hmm. We mm. have with us Rojani Perriot, which every all of our viewers know you. Yeah, everybody knows Rojani. Singing, judging, all the many different things that you do with your dancing. But now you're here to talk about vegetarian cuisine. I am. Weird, but true. Okay, so <laughs> the secret's out. You are a vegetarian. I am. Okay. Right. And right. you have started Vegan Kitchen? Yes, the Vegan Kitchen is a cooking or catering and food delivery service that I started when I got back okay. from the States. Okay. Um, but it's been on hiatus for a little while. Okay. And now it's back. Okay. All right, excellent. Because you there know. are a lot more people who are vegetarians now. There are, and there are also not only vegetarians or vegans, but also a lot more people who have kind of opened up to this healthy living. Mm -hmm. Yes. And they're now open to trying new things. And yeah. this is a part of the new thing. Okay. Oh, well, definitely. You know, and, and it's, it's definitely catching on, like you mentioned. The healthy lifestyle yeah. is what we want. Uh, for me, when it comes to new tofu, before that, before mm -hmm. that, before that, you, you just have to answer my question. Sure. Why no meat? Why meat? Why no meat? No answer meat is important. In Belize especially. Mm -hmm. um, we have a problem with diabetes, hypertension, yeah. um, cancer, yeah. all of these things. And the studies have shown that by varying your diet and including more vegetables mm -hmm. and having a plant-based diet mm -hmm. is better for you. You'll notice that people who have had diabetes or who, hypertension, these illnesses, not diabetes, but hypertension, mm -hmm. these illnesses go away with a plant-based diet. Wow. You live longer. There is a thing going around on Facebook about this lady who is 75, who is not a meat eater, and her husband, who is 80 and is, and the stark contrast between how they look wow. is completely... Night and day. Yes. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, it's true. It, I, I know quite a few people who ventured into vegan veganism and vegetarianism. Mm -hmm. And there are people who just do meatless days in between. And there's nothing wrong yeah. with that. Wherever you're comfortable is yeah. where you should be. So yeah. what's the difference between vegan and vegetarian? Vegetarian, there's tons of different vegetarians. And not to get into the five different Please. types. But vegetarian just means that you include some sort of meat product. Whether it's oh. eggs cheese or milk mm -hmm. um some people are vegetarians but they're pesco vegetarians so they only eat fish and seafood okay. um some people are lacto vegetarians meaning they eat no egg products no chicken products but they do eat um milk something dairy. with milk yeah. yes dairy mm -hmm. and some people are ovo vegetarians which is just the opposite of the lacto vegetarian mm -hmm. so they don't eat any dairy but they eat um, eggs and that sort of thing. And some people are lacto ovo vegetarians, meaning that they eat both dairy and egg mm -hmm. products. And that's oh. actually the easiest vegetarian you can be. Right. And vegan is no animal product. Vegan is no animal product. And this extends to the seasoning that you use, the oils that you use, mm -hmm. and all of those things. So um, it's a little harder. Yeah. But the benefits <laughs> are. So which, which vegetarian are you? Right? No. <laughs> no, 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 no. No, it's, yeah. it's Which it's vegetarian fine. are you? Right now, kind of a little over vegetarian. Not because uh -huh. I eat raw scrambled eggs because I can't stand it. My tummy doesn't like it. Mm -hmm. But like if I see a slice of cake, I'm going to eat it. Yeah, oh, okay. Eat cake. I got you. I'm a, yeah. I got you. Now, here's the thing. I imagine being in, in the States, you could have had your pick of vegetarian food. You come back to Belize and... It's That's when you realize, i got to create vegan. No, no, no. It's actually way simpler in Belize mm -hmm. really? than it is in the States. And I will tell you why. Uh -huh. While there are tons of these products, everybody is jumping on this vegetarian and vegan craze, mm -hmm. and you can get your vegetarian sausage and your vegan whatever it is. Mm -hmm. um, it's actually filled with sodium, and they're horrible for you. Okay. Okay. Because they try to make it taste like what it is that you're replacing. So it's for lazy people. Mm -hmm. oh, and you gosh. can't really eat tofu or soy products in the States because they're filled with hormones and that sort of thing okay. in Belize. Mm -hmm. I've now included tofu again and soy products again because they actually make it here. If I do not eat that in three days, it goes bad. If I don't drink the Mama Chen soy milk in three days, it goes, it goes bad. bad. Mm. Oh, wow. So okay. it's actually easier. All right, now go back to your tofu questions, because I, I needed to demystify the whole vegan, <laughs> vegetarian mm, That's type. nice. Yeah, yeah I, I, I was actually uh, say, you know what, um, let's get on with it, because I heard the pot said, Fung! 
thing would simply mean, mean that your hurts. heart is telling it you, hurts. Rajane, I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But it, it, it's it's actually become uh, becoming something that uh, of a catch on for Belize in terms of mm -hmm. veganism or or vegetarian. A lot of people are staying away from products because they want to live a healthy lifestyle. So we've got vegan. The vegan kitchen, which there is the Belizean vegan. vegan. I like that. All right. So, so what are we making today? Today we're going to make a vegan um, breakfast sandwich. Mm -hmm. And you may notice, you may recognize some stuff on the table and you may not. Johnny Key. This is the whole week, Johnny Key. I actually made these Johnny this Keek. morning. Okay, oh, good. yummy. <laughs> and this, that? This is my vegan breakfast sausage. I actually taught... Um, some of my fellow Spartans how to make this on my blog on Wednesday. Okay. This is no meat product. It's actually made with oatmeal. Really, really, really? simple. Yes, really. My hands are clean. I'll just pick it up. So it does. Um, look, it looks like a. It looks like. Yeah, a, it's like a sausage looks like a, Yeah, like a sausage patty. Yeah. Yes. I said a serious seasoning in it too. Yummy. Yes. Yummy. This is my cheese sauce. Your cheese. Cheese. <gasps> because you can't have a breakfast sandwich without cheese. <laughs> this is actually What's made from tofu and nutritional yeast flakes, a little lime juice, a little apple cider vinegar, mm -hmm. um, black pepper, salt, and that's it. It looks dippish. Like yes. something sort of You can eat it yeah. with chips. I do it all yes. the time. It look dippish. <laughs> that looks good though. <laughs> so we have tofu here and you know all the requisite all the, yeah. seasoning, the garlic, cilantro, cilantro onion, tomato. tomato. Tomatoes. All of this will go in the scrambled tofu. Um I just need to point out okay. that this is vegan chicken seasoning. Now the okay. reason I don't use regular chicken and beef seasoning is because they're usually made with the beef or chicken fat. Okay. Oh. And this is not. Okay. Wow. Okay. And you got that here? No, 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 no. Yeah. Imported. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I have lovely family abroad who yeah. sends me stuff that they know I like. All right. Um, Your seasonings and, are? Yes. I have the Lowry seasoned salt, no MSG, very important. MSG is not good for you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Which we call, um, what we call it? Accent. Uh -huh. No use it. <laughs> it's cancer. It's, it's cancer, cancer it's horrible for, for you. Yes. This is the bacon bits. It's actually made from soy flour. Bacon bits. We have this right here. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. We have this right here. This is from Publix. Okay. Yeah. All right. So let me. Yes. Let me. I want to. I want to. Um, we have crushed red pepper because I don't go anywhere with. It smell like bacon. But it's not. <laughs> and Italian seasoning and black pepper and mm, oh, yellow ginger. But this is actually turmeric. Uh, which is a hot spice right oh, now, but we're going to actually use this just for color. Okay. okay. This recipe that I'm going to use is a recipe that I use for um, our, my, the healthy fuel line mm -hmm. that I do with Sunrise Hit Fitness. Mm -hmm. And that's a line that the CEO, Kadeem Bennett, and I came up with okay. for his client base specifically. Yeah. So usually when I do my food, I don't worry about all of this. All right. It's different. I, I do it for the lifestyle vegetarian, so I don't really watch a lot of uh, how, the, how the things are prepared, right? What I'm noticing here, Rajani, is... You didn't use is, oil. No. Yeah, no oil. Just no, this some is water. water sauteing, okay? This is what it's called, and it's just as effective as doing a saute with, with oil. oil. And there's absolutely no added calories here, and you can still smell it yeah. coming off. There you go. Right? So mm. there's no oil. Well, your skillet is non-stick. That, that does help, right? Yeah. Uh, not really. <laughs> not really, but... <laughs> okay. Don't put scrub in that. Mm -mm. Mm. To this, we're going to okay. add a little turmeric. This, remember, this is for color. Okay. Don't add too much turmeric to your stuff. If you don't have turmeric, um, Goya as a friend. Okay. Sure. Okay. Um, but what we want to do is recreate the yellow color okay. for the eggs, because that's right. what the tofu is going to look like when okay. it's finished. To this, we're also going to add... Yeah, we smell that yellow ginger. Yeah. Yellow ginger is a bit bitter. Okay, we're going to add this chicken seasoning, this okay. vegan chicken seasoning, McKay's vegan. They also have a, um, a little salt. All right. Oh, my gosh, that smells good. Okay. Ooh. Now, we're just going to make sure this goes a little bit more just to soften up those tomatoes. Nobody likes raw tomatoes in their tofu. I don't. Um, yes, so I was telling you about the healthy fuel yes. line that we're doing with uh, Sunrise Fitness. Mm -hmm. I'm actually a part of that. So happy that Kadeem actually included me to, or trusted me enough to cook for his clients. <laughs> um, <laughs> but what it is, is it's just a line. This is the tofu. Okay. okay. And we're just going to crumble that in there. Okay. Oh, that's so I did two blocks. This is local tofu. Mm -hmm. I buy it from Chef's Meat Market. Okay. Um, and whew, that yellow ginger. Yeah, yeah I'm that's something that you really 
okay? And um, thank you. And um, yeah, so I buy it from there. Mm -hmm. And let me use this. So we'll, we're going to add just a little bit because if anybody knows anything about red chili flakes, mm -hmm. it's really hot. And it's a bit overwhelming. If you see it drying out, don't feel away. Add some more water. It's just That's all you have to do. Add water. some water. And it depends on how you like your eggs, too. Yes, well, for this application, they're going to have a little less water. Okay. So the water needs to go away. Okay. Uh, yeah, so this <laughs> helps you learn for Sunrise Fitness. Um, you may I'm sorry, we're just so fascinated <laughs> by this process right now. I forgot to talk. But please tell us, you make breakfast for a fitness No, I crew. don't make breakfast. Okay, what is we it? make lunch. Yeah. We did a, a lunch menu. Okay. Uh -huh. And it includes a properly portioned um, lunch of proteins, carbs, and fat. I actually count the calories for that so you know wow. how many calories are in there. It's properly portioned out. Mm -hmm. So if a portion of brown rice is half a cup, that's what you get. Yep. Mm -hmm. um, and I also include a dessert. Because you can't do all of that and not have not a little have some treat. Dessert. Uh, right. Yeah, you, you work hard for something, right? Right, and we do all of this plus delivery for twelve dollars. All okay. right, that's nice. So Excellent. if you guys are interested in the healthy fuels, just check the Sunrise Fitness Place mm -hmm. uh, page on Facebook, and you can get more information. You know, folks, I've always been saying that healthy, a uh, healthy lifestyle, healthy food is always expensive. But for twelve bucks, you could get something as healthy as that. Exactly. Lunch and dessert. Lunch, Lunch and, and dessert. dessert. And delivery. Can't go wrong. So what do we get? What do we get today from? Uh, Begun. For vegan kitchen? Vegan, yes, vegan kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> vegan kitchen does its own food, but it's not for the health conscious. It's for it's for lifestyle vegetarians. Yeah. So okay. my food will like for instance, if I was doing this for the vegan kitchen, mm -hmm. I wouldn't worry too much about whether or not I'm water sauteing it. Mm -hmm. I would just go on ahead and put some vegan butter mm -hmm. in there. So you're adding some bacon. Yes, yes. <laughs> it's breakfast, okay. It is breakfast. Woo, this looks good. Okay, okay, so you have your health fuel line that you do with the Sunrise Fitness, Fitness Club. Right. As and a so part, they work out in the morning and they, they do and they try to get a healthy meal at lunch with you. They do as a part of the uh, UNDP Millennium Development Goals okay. nice. number three, mm -hmm. which is to promote health and well being. And so that's that's a vegetarian lunch. Uh, it properly is portioned, which is properly important. portioned, calories counted, fat, carb and protein, so you account for what it is okay. that you're eating. Um, and yeah, and I also do for them cooking and classes and oh, all awesome. kinds of stuff. And then if somebody just wants to have a meatless lunch, they can still find out what's on your menu for that day. Right. And what, what would a typical lunch be? <sighs> I would do like a roti and a curried eggplant and mm. chickpea with some dal puri mm. and maybe a, a banana bread or something. Nice. For mm. Some street Trinidadish. What well, that was just an <laughs> I also do. I'm the, I love roti. But I love roti as well. That's a good, that, that's and nice. This is done. It that's looks it? like eggs. Oh. You put black pepper too? No, because I already put, let me just taste this. this. Mm. Really? Mm hmm. Nope. What, it's not what there you yet. need? What you need? Needs a little bit more of this. All right, so there you go. And we could, uh, we could always mix that up. Yeah, we are yeah. going to mix it up. There you go. We put it on. So that would be a, a typical lunch that somebody would have, right? Right. And you or you have something new every day on your menu? I don't cook every day. I cook on Mondays, Tuesdays, and Wednesdays because I believe in farm to table. And it's kind of because I live all the way in Burl Boom, it's mm -hmm. hard for me to find some of the things that I need. Okay. okay. So I go to the market on the days that I have off to mm -hmm. cook for the, okay. for the following day. Or okay. The, nice. So, yeah. and so I try as much as fresh. I try as much as possible to um, really just deal with the stalls, the food stalls that are small. Mm -hmm. so if you see a, you're at the market and you see somebody with like one thing in their stall, chances are that's all they have, yeah. mm -hmm. and that's the freshest. And so you need to go there. You need yeah. to go there. Oh, so that there you go. So, so you get good tips as well. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Vegan, <laughs> great. So let me ask you, uh, sure. your clientele is mostly vegetarians or uh, are no. there people who just want a different meal? No, they're not vegetarians yeah. actually. To date, my client base has been non-vegetarians. Yeah. They are the biggest um, supporters of this type of food. Thank yeah. you. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're ready to assemble. We have eggs. We made have eggs. right in front of you, and I, I don't know if are you getting this on camera, but it just it looks it looks delicious. like egg. It smells like it. Oh my gosh, Let's yummy, go. yummy. Okay, okay. So we need to assemble. Mm-hmm. 
you need that. All, All right. right. So I've made here. Ooh, this morning, Jonathan freshly cakes. made this morning. Freshly made this morning. Uh -huh. What is a sandwich without some cheese? All right, some cheese. <laughs> so let's do the cheese. Mm. So we're spreading the cheese. Yeah, because that takes the place of butter mm. and whatever gives else. Gives it some moistness. But the portion it. that you're actually putting in, it simply means it will need a lot of paper to hold it when you bite on into it. Oh my gosh, okay, I can't and then wait. I'm going to put down my vegan sausage. Uh -huh. So that's oatmeal and? Oatmeal, um, it's the mushroom soy sauce that I love and use. Okay. It's uh, salt. <sighs> Let me see what else. Sage, Italian seasoning, crushed red pepper flakes, mm -hmm. and nutritional yeast flakes, which is also in this, which is like a vegan staple. Mm -hmm. um, it's very high in B12. Okay. Mm -hmm. And um, two tablespoons is, I think, 50 calories and five grams of protein. Okay. okay. So it's really a super So food. you would make that into like a... a Dough it goes, yeah, so all the water out. and everything, because it's three and a half cup of all of it, with all the seasoning goes on the stove to boiling, and then you remove the boiling water and you add three and a half cups of oatmeal to mm -hmm. that, okay. and you just let that sit so the oatmeal soaks up all that delicious goodness yeah. that you've made, the broth that you made. Mm -hmm. You just let it sit because it's really hot. Uh -huh. And then um, when it cools down a bit, you scoop it out and like pat spoonfuls and pat it down, bake it for 10 minutes on one side, 15 minutes on the other side, and then 350 degree oven. And you've got it. a sausage. Yeah, you got a sausage. All right. Let me be very, very careful with this. That's a serious portion, man. Okay. All of these foods are really high in protein, so that's important, especially if you're doing... Um, and I'll make one for you, John, just so you don't have to share. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, and the thing about this stuff that I really need to tell you is all this stuff is storable. So you don't have to make up every single bit of sausage stuff that you have. You can yeah. put it in a Ziploc bag and put it in the freezer or leave it in the fridge and mm -hmm. make it to order. Or you can roll it in the typical sausage form. Oops. In the typical mm -hmm. sausage form. There you go. All right. That's it. Beautiful. Wow. <laughs> you some garnish, though. Know? I do you know what I'm so fascinated by? Wait. Hold up. Mm -hmm. All right. There you go. <laughs> there you go. Is that garnish enough yes. for you, John? There you go. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> Give me a little cheese swipe across here. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> no, but you know what's fascinating me? I'm just looking at your tofu eggs and, I, and I'm thinking to myself, I could go to any restaurant and not know that I'm eating tofu, tofu. instead of eggs. So you could fool like anybody eggs. with eggs. that. Like yeah. eggs. Yeah. Now, does uh, it taste like eggs? That's the question. Um, it tastes like really good tofu. So okay. she probably taste it. I've never had tofu in All my right, life. All right, let's try to do this without making a mess. I'm going to venture right. it first. Mm, mm, mm. We, I told Ooh, you, I you need paper towel for this. Your Johnny you cake. I love a good crispy Johnny cake. You have no idea. Yeah, these Johnny cakes are different from my regular Johnny cakes. I've made I, them more like a wafer and not like a. Mm. Really? <laughs> <laughs> All right, mm -hmm. let me jump on in. Mm -hmm. Here you go. All right. That cheese me, is yes. good. Right? Mm-hmm. Let me, uh, I need like two or And three. I got a bite of the, the pate as well. Do you taste that salt from it too? Yeah. Mm. All right, so here we go. <laughs> I can have that. Well, I will have it for breakfast actually, but. Yes. I have never had tofu in my life. Today is the first. And mm. so here we, I, I need to get a piece of the patty though. Mm -hmm. He needs to cover the taste, he says, with the patty. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you. <laughs> oh, it? it is delicious. Absolutely know. delicious. <laughs> what the? If I could have somebody cook like you all the time, I'd be vegetarian <laughs> too. And, but that takes a bit of skill to learn. The seasoning is what's mm. important, I imagine. Mm -hmm. It's a little hot. Just be careful. It's not hot. It's, it's falling out. Mm -hmm. Sorry. <laughs> Yes, babe. You know your OCD is totally coming out right now because he's concerned of the mess. <laughs> About the <laughs> mess, yes. Tell me. Street, flush, breakfast, the way you should have it. Yeah. 
this is perfect. Can I have one more, please? Yes, no, go ahead. I brought enough for everybody, so everybody can have a taste when they're done. Well, everybody's going to be jumping up to try to find <laughs> if they can find you on Facebook and figure out what's for lunch, if they get roti or what, what you're making, yeah. I am on Facebook under the Vegan Kitchen. Okay, so it's B E B E apostrophe G A N. Vegan. Vegan Kitchen. Yes. Or you can find me on Sunrise Fitness Belize. If you had never had tofu, begin. Yeah. <laughs> did I mention that the cheese is also made from tofu? Yes, you did. Yeah, you did. That. Yeah, you this did. You is did. Delicious though. That is really great. Just need only chips. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or I would just eat it in between the Johnny cake, like on its own. That is delicious. Uh, thank you so. You made it so look very so welcome. easy. Mm -hmm. I cannot believe it. And uh, I, I do want to say that I know a lot of people are venturing into having meatless meals. And uh, it seems daunting. Obviously, this was it's one example of how easy it is. One of the hallmark of my recipes is that they're really easy for the bu busy person. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There's things that you can do. Um, certain things like the sausage, it takes a little bit of time, I'm yeah. not going to lie, but it's a Saturday morning thing. And of course. Do I see a cake on your page? Yes, I do. What, uh, what, what? It's a carrot cake. It's actually a diabetic carrot cake that I made. Uh, it's sugar free. But sweet. Um, no, just from the raisins and the carrots, which mm. are okay. in it, and I also use the Splenda brown sugar that's mm -hmm. for okay. baking, Okay. but not as much as it says, just okay. half of that. I could see some honey dripping on it as well. No, no, no honey. honey. No honey. No honey. Oh, it's not yeah. animals. Oh, yeah. my God. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> there you go. You can get dessert, too. <laughs> yes, you can. <laughs> He's so distracted by his sandwich. I'm he sorry. He's honey cake. <laughs> But we want to say thank you and uh, check out Vegan Kitchen on Facebook. Check out Sunrise Fitness Club. Of course, we've had Kadeem with us quite a few times, a health advocate and, and definitely uh, following through. And uh, yeah, try something new today. Mm -hmm. Hey, I did. I it tried tofu good. for the first time and this thing is good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's the real test. Uh -huh. When somebody who does not have a vegetarian bone in their body likes this a is. vegetarian meal. Uh, have you been to the breakers yet? Uh, no, can you <laughs> stop the rest of it down your mouth? All right, we're going to go ahead and take our final break. We'll be back in a few. Stay tuned. Mm -hmm.